Welcome to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, a city known for its artistic heritage, elaborate canal system and narrow houses awaits your exploration. This gem in the heart of Europe never fails to charm visitors with its historical allure and vibrant culture. Amsterdam is not just a city, it's an experience, a journey into a world where history and modernity coexist. Home to 165 canals, many museums, and boasting the title of the cycling capital of the world, it's no surprise that Amsterdam is a must-visit destination for explorers. Join us as we uncover the nine best things to do in this fascinating city. Number 1. Canal Cruises First on our list is the popular activity, Canal Cruises. A trip to Amsterdam wouldn't be complete without a journey through the city's aquatic arteries. Picture this. You're gliding along one of the 165 shimmering canals that crisscross the city, each one a mirror reflecting the charming, centuries-old buildings that line their banks. These canals are more than just waterways, they're vantage points that offer a unique perspective Amsterdam. From the comfort of your boat, you can admire the city's historic architecture, the multitude of cyclists whizzing by, and the vibrant life that pulses through the city. Whether it's a sunny afternoon or a starlit evening, a canal cruise will give you a taste of the city's rich history and its dynamic present. It's a chance to see Amsterdam from an angle that most travelers don't get to enjoy. So when you're in Amsterdam, don't just walk the streets, sail the canals, experience Amsterdam like never before with a canal cruise. Number 2. The Royal Palace Next, we have one of the grandest historical monuments in the Netherlands, the Royal Palace. This palace, a testament to Dutch history and architectural prowess, stands as a symbol of the city's vibrant past. Originally a town hall during the Dutch Golden Age, it transformed into a royal residence in the 19th century and serves as the official reception palace for the Dutch royal house. On entering, you'll be welcomed by opulent interiors, impressive chandeliers, intricate ceiling paintings and richly decorated rooms. The palace's public areas, including the Grand Citizens Hall, are open for exploration, providing a peek into the nation's past. Each room narrates a unique story, echoing state visits, royal receptions and grand ceremonies. Don't miss the opportunity to traverse the corridors of Dutch history at the Royal Palace. Number 3. Museum Plain Art enthusiasts, get ready for Museum Plain. Located in the epicenter of Amsterdam, this central plaza is an abundant source of culture and history. It serves as the base to a multitude of museums, each providing a distinct insight into the world of art and history. Our first stop is the Rijksmuseum. This Dutch national museum is devoted to arts and history, presenting a facade that's nothing short of impressive. Housing more than a million artifacts, from the Middle Ages to the present day, it's a chronicle of time that you wouldn't want to bypass. Next in line, the Stede Lake Museum, an ideal destination for modern art admirers. Here you will encounter an expansive collection of contemporary art and design, featuring pieces from renowned artists like Picasso, Warhol, and many others. Then, we move on to the Moko Museum, a boutique museum showcasing a broad spectrum of modern and contemporary art. This is the hub for the rebels and the unconventional, the Banksies and the of the world. Finally, yet importantly, the Van Gogh Museum. This exceptional museum is home to the largest collection of works by Vincent van Gogh globally. From his famed sunflowers to his starry nights, this is an indispensable visit for any art enthusiast. Immerse yourself in the rich art history of Amsterdam at Museum Plein. Number 4. Vondel Park. For nature lovers, have Vondel Park. This verdant treasure is Amsterdam's largest city park, a sprawling sanctuary offering peace among the city's bustling streets. It's the ideal location to retreat from the urban commotion and yourself in the bounties of nature. Vondel Park is more than just a park. It's a complete experience. It provides a plethora of outdoor activities catering to all tastes. Be you an early riser who enjoys a lively jog at dawn, a yoga enthusiast in search of a calm spot for meditation, or a family hunting a picnic locale, Vondel Park will fulfill your needs. It also serves as a cultural hotspot, staging open-air concerts and shows during the summer. And let's not overlook the quaint cafes scattered around the park. Get a coffee, sit back, and partake in some people watching. From the whispering leaves to the bird's song, the park's soundscape morphs into your private symphony, creating an irresistible, soothing ambiance. It's hardly surprising that the park draws in millions of visitors annually, both locals and tourists. So during your next visit to Amsterdam, make sure to dedicate some time to rejuvenate amid the serene surroundings of Vondel Park. 
Number 5. Cycling Capital of the World Welcome to the cycling capital of the world, Amsterdam, a city that is as much about bikes as it is about canals, tulips, and windmills. The humble bicycle isn't just a mode of transportation here, it's a way of life. Winding through the city's heart is an extensive bicycle lane system, crafting a unique urban landscape where two wheels reign supreme. As the Dutch say, you're not a true Amsterdammer until you've had a bike stolen. The reason? Bicycles outnumber people in this metropolis. Indeed, with a population of over 800,000 bicycles, cycling trumps driving. It's a practical, eco-friendly and enjoyable way to navigate the city. Whether it's the bustling flower markets or the iconic museum plane, experiencing Amsterdam's charm is best done on two wheels. So, when in Amsterdam, emulate the Amsterdammers. Experience Amsterdam as locals do and mount a bicycle. Are you enjoying this video? Please hit the subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything of course. Now let's continue. Number 6. Anne Frank House. Step into history at this incredibly significant site, nestled in the heart of Amsterdam. The Anne Frank House was once the refuge of Anne Frank and her family during the dark days of World War II. It was here that Anne penned her famous diary, which has since been translated into over 70 languages, offering a deeply personal insight into the experiences of those hidden from the Nazi today, the house has been transformed into a thought-provoking museum. Visitors can explore the secret annex where the Frank family hid and even see the original diary on display. Rooms, though empty, echo with the stories of courage and resilience, offering a poignant reminder of the past. Interactive exhibits and personal stories bring the harrowing experiences of its former inhabitants to life, ensuring that their stories continue to resonate with generations to come. Experience a poignant piece of world history at the seventh stop, the Anne Frank House. Number 7. Dutch Herring. Savor the flavors of Amsterdam with Dutch Herring. When you wander through the bustling streets of Amsterdam, it's hard to miss this street food. More than a simple snack, Dutch Herring is a cultural and historical hallmark of the city. This specialty is typically served raw and is often complemented with pickles onions. Yes, you got it, raw. But don't let this intimidate you. It's an essential experience for every gastronome. The herring is fished between May and July, the time when the fish are reportedly at their plumpest and most flavorsome. Street vendors, or herring handles, are aplenty in Amsterdam, each presenting their own distinctive methods of preparing and serving this age-old dish. Some favor it in a sandwich, termed a bruge herring, while others savor it in the conventional manner, by grasping the herring by the tail and having a bite. Delight in a slice of Amsterdam's culinary heritage with Dutch herring. Number 8. Heineken Experience Beer enthusiasts, prepare for the Heineken Experience. You're about to embark on a journey that will take you through the rich history and intricate process of brewing Heineken beer. The tour begins by narrating the story of Heineken's evolution, from a humble Amsterdam brewery to an international beer juggernaut. You'll peer into the old brewery with its vintage copper brewing kettles, where the magic of converting water, barley, hops, and yeast into beer once took place. Next, prepare to delve into the scientific world of beer making. Grasp the importance of each ingredient and the role they play in crafting that distinctive Heineken flavor. Engage all your senses as you touch, smell, and taste the raw materials that go into making this globally celebrated beer. The journey doesn't end here. You'll also acquire the knowledge of drafting the perfect pint of Heineken, a skill that you can certainly show off to your friends back home. Wrap up your thirst for knowledge and beer at the Heineken experience. Number 9. Historic Churches Explore Amsterdam's spiritual side at its historic churches. As we journey through time, our first stop is Westerkirk, a magnificent testament to Dutch Renaissance architecture, which hails from the 17th century. This iconic church, exemplified by its towering spire, serves as a beacon of history and culture in Amsterdam's heart. Located just a short distance away, we have the Oudkirk, or Old Church, recognized as the city's oldest building and parish church, consecrated in 1338. It's a true architectural wonder, revealing the shift from Romanesque to Gothic styles over the decades. However, Westerkirk and Oudekirk are merely two of the numerous churches scattered across the city. Each has its own unique narrative that adds to the rich tapestry of Amsterdam's history. From the detailed stained glass windows to the grand organ pipes, these churches exemplify the city's deep historical and spiritual roots. Immerse yourself in the tranquility and architectural magnificence of Amsterdam's historic churches. So, there you have it, the nine best things to do in Amsterdam. 
we navigated through the city's 165 canals, marveled at the grandeur of the royal palace, and explored the lively museum plane. We relaxed at the serene Vondel Park and rode through the cycling capital of the world. We revisited history at the Anne Frank House, tasted traditional Dutch herring, toured the Heineken Brewery, and admired the city's historic churches. Do you have more exciting ideas for things to do in Amsterdam? Feel free to share with us in the comments below, and thank you for watching. Before you go, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.